Luba! What? What? Were you? Were you just playing Five Nights at Freddy's? What? No, I was just. What the fuck do you want? Uh, uh, huh. I, I forgot. Dumb ass. Oh, uh, Lucy wants us in the room for some reason. Why do you gotta be such a sussy bucka? What the hell do you want, Lucy? Have you guys ever heard of Doki Doki Literature Club? Dickery Harky Doki Club? Fuck. What? This is that stupid game that made Lucy cry. Uh, hmm. You can't deflect the truth. What? Why did it make you cry? What's it even about? Here, watch this. It doesn't even make any sense. Just show her what it actually is and stop showing her memes. But memes are how I found out about it. After watching the Game Theory episode. Fine, after playing the game. Ding ding, you won the jackpot. Have a fucking cookie. Shush. Would you just tell me what it is? Certainly. Ah, fucking Jesus, God motherfucker. Christ, what in the fuck? Oh crap, what did you do? I don't know, they just kind of showed up in my room. Get off. Th they? Love. Cookies. Knives. Suicide. What? what? Uh, anime. Yeah. yeah. I have a headache. Doki Doki Literature Club is a game that released in September of 2017. that took the internet by storm. Stop it. Theories, fan works, fan fictions, game mods, all a result of the fact that the game is a dating sim flipped on its head. God damn it, stop. Unlike Hoonie Pop, the twist isn't porn. The twist is horror. A, a dating sim. A, a fucking dating sim made you cry? I cry when the lunch lady serves oatmeal raisin instead of chocolate chip. Imagine eating, not based. Shut up, Spritzy. I'll explain in a minute if you just relax. Uh-huh. It's actually more than the game itself that made me cry, believe it or not. Wait, is she telling the truth? As much as I never like to credit Lucy for anything, yes, she is telling the truth. Sort of like how I always tell the truth. Which is why I'm perfect for you. What? What? Wait, what? What is this? Stop hitting on Senpai, Baka. You're being so cringe, Monica. Te golpearé, estúpido. Wait, since when did Monica speak taco? Since when were any of you supposed to know how to speak English? Well, uh, actually. We learned in- So this visual novel is incredibly basic in terms of how it starts off. Your friend Sayori gets you to join a literature club full of only girls. Sugar and spice with a chest flatter than a runway. Hey, that's not true. I've got kahungas. I got big chungus boobies. Where? In my imagination. Followed by mommy milkers McShinus. They're not that big. But Yuri, they're massive. They're bigger than Sayora's therapy bill. Who said I go to therapy? And the murder happy one, Monica. She's my favorite. <gasps> I am? Stop doing that. So what, what even is the big twist? Why does anyone care about this game besides tits? Oh, it gets dark really fast. Dark? I feel bright around, senpai. Uh, Sayori, you've got something on your face. I do? Yeah, right here. Well, that's not good. Well, Sayori's dead. All right, calm down. Everybody but Yuri, keep your shirts on. Why do I have to take my shirt off? Yuri, put your shirt back on. Yeah, Sayori commits quote-unquote suicide, even though everybody has a pretty good idea of who pushed her off the chair. Why are you looking at me? And after that, the game seems to reset, but shits itself whenever Sayori is supposed to be on screen. Sometimes Sayori will appear hanging on a poster in the back of the room, because, you know... Just a friendly dating sim, guys. Suicide, huh? You alright, Spritz? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. So after some more fucky stuff goes down, depending on the choices you make and the stuff you do, you'll spend time with either Yuri or Natsuki. And if you spend time with Yuri, she talks about her knife collection. You notice her fiddling with her sleeves a lot, and the next day you check on her in the hallway to find her cutting herself, because, you know, quirky. I have no idea what you're talking about. Then you have a romantic time with her, and she stabs herself to death in front of you. Oh! Well, isn't that interesting? All right, this is some shit. Yuri, you good? Is it normal to have fading vision and hot flashes? Depends on why. Do you have a knife in your stomach right now? Maybe? Then yes, that's perfectly normal. This place is a nut house. And if you choose Natsuki, you bake cookies and then she breaks her own neck? 
Not gonna lie, this is very uncomfortable. How did you even- There's a penny under the couch. Can somebody cut me down? No, Sayori, you're dead. All oh, right, sorry. So after you see one of your friends die, stop it. Monica tells you that she didn't think it'd go that bad. Stop it. And resets everything, placing you in a room with just her. Just Monica. Just knock it off. Why won't you let me love you? I've seen your search history. What? I, I, don't you dare. Better to search my name on rule 34. Okay, moving on. The only way to defeat her is to delete her save file in the actual game files. When you do that, she gets super passive aggressive and says you're a monster before giving in, apologizing, and making sure the game is set up without her. But then Sayori becomes self-aware and Monica wipes the game out completely. This is where it gets rough for me. Especially when I played the game for the first time. I cried when the credits rolled, but for reasons most people wouldn't suspect. I cried because I related to Monica hard. The feeling of loving someone desperately despite them either wanting nothing to do with you and living in another world was one I could relate to. The words of the song in the end, it got to me, and I felt bad for deleting and hurting Monica because it felt like a mirror to me, but honestly this game helped me get over a lot of negative, bad, and painful memories involving love, which I've never had a good streak with. Wow, butters, I- I told you she wasn't lying. I will. That's it, right? No, we have some more to talk about. What else is there, though? Meme territory, bruh. The mods. I love the mods. One of the first series of videos I did was on DDLC, and one was a video where we played the meme mod, a mod I love to death. It's so stupid, so dumb, but so entertaining. Here's a few clips from the meme mod video I did way back in the day. I have an anime girl thing. <laughs> you hate both of you. What he means to say is that he loves epic memes. <laughs> anyway, someone enters the room. Hello, students. Is she getting eaten out from under the desk by Principal stop, McMahon? Stop it, stop, stop. Now listen to rap with me, please. I'm <laughs> good. Fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore me memes from your Facebook feed! Dragon Ball! Oh, shit. <laughs> Looks like Yuri miscarried. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that's so sad. <laughs> 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 I have now entered my dragon form. But Monica has deflected both of their attacks. Monica is easily dodging all attacks with her eyes closed. What? That's impossible! Monica opens her eyes. You can't beat me anymore! <laughs> uh oh, I'll wake up any second now. What? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. What? What? Why? Wait, wait, what? If you want to watch this video, it is inside the Fuchsia Butter Year One playlist, as well as my original playthrough of DDLC. Originally, I was going to release the clip of me crying to DDLC when I hit 10k subs, but I lost the clip. So hopefully me explaining why it impacted me so hard makes up for it. Alright, that's it. Get the hell out of our house. But why? Well, one of you idiots is hanging from the ceiling. Fat Tits is dripping blood on the carpet. Sorry about that. Flatty is creeping me out, and you irritate the shit out of me. Aww. Fine. Come on, girls, let's go. I can't move. If I take one step, I'm going to collapse. I don't think I'll fit through the door. God damn it. There we go. I voice Sayori. There you go. <laughs> this is the only time you're getting me to say senpai in a fucking script.